Perhaps one of the world's most interesting artefacts, the Voynich Manuscript has been shrouded in mystery from the 15th century when it was discovered to the 21st century, where we are none the wiser as to what it says, who it was written by, or even what language it was written in. This odd manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, an antiquarian bookseller who bought the manuscript in 1912 from a Jesuit library in Italy. It is now kept in the Beenicky Rare Book and Manuscript Library at Yale University, USA, where it has been held since 1969. Scholars and scientists alike have wondered for centuries what this manuscript says, and many individuals have taken numerous attempts at decoding it, so far with very little success. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at the Voynich Manuscript and some of the many attempts there have been at deciphering its strange code. Artificial intelligence could not crack the code. In 2018, artificial intelligence endeavoured to figure out the 600-year-old code, though even the AI could not reliably figure out what this code said. The Voynich manuscript appears to contain between 25 and 30 characters, as interpretations have been varied and is written from left to right by a single hand. It is made up of 102 parchment folios, meaning it reaches approximately an astounding 234 pages in length. This objective information is minimal and does not necessarily aid in solving the mystery as to the original language the manuscript was written in. The manuscript is written in an unidentified language, using an alphabet that has not been seen elsewhere prior to the manuscript's discovery or after it was found. Many believe it has been written using a substitution cipher. This involves the letters of an existing language being exchanged for made-up letters to create a code. Typically, a substitution cipher is considered the simplest code, and is one of the oldest methods of encrypting a text. If it really is such a simple code, then why haven't scientists been able to translate the manuscript? Scientists have no idea what the original language is to begin figuring out where the substitutions have been made. Bradley Hauer and Gregor Kondrak aimed to use computational analysis in order to find a country the text may have originated from or a language it was written in. Numerous algorithms were trained to pick up the statistical fingerprints of the text and compare it to existing established languages to attempt to find a match. Factors such as the frequency of each letter and combinations of letters were used. Hauer and Kondrak began using this software on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. They input 380 languages. This trial appeared to work and be successful, so they moved forward with their research. A computational linguist at Illinois Institute of Technology stated that the results were in debate, but not more so than many other results often published in the scientific literature. The next step in their artificial intelligence testing and research was for Kondrak and Hauer to apply these algorithms to the infamous Voynich manuscript, but this was where the pair began to encounter numerous issues. The initial obstacle is that the algorithm was trained to trace modern languages. The evolution of languages regarding vocabulary, grammar, syntax and spelling is massive and so languages we use today are incredibly different to the same languages in the late medieval or early modern societies which is when the manuscript was traced back to in the 15th century. Another problematic element of the AI research is that while suggestions are made for the closest matches, the probability of this being a match is not considered. Kondrak and Hauer claimed to have discovered the source language, Hebrew, through their algorithm. However, this was the closest match of the 380 languages they inputted, but was not a certain match. Other matches that were considered close, for example Malay, are drastically different from Hebrew, and so the validity of this algorithm may be deemed very low. The lack of evaluation regarding how likely each language is means that Hebrew may have been the closest match available, but not necessarily similar enough to the source language for a substitution code. The final hurdle, and perhaps the factor that is a deal-breaker in the validity of their research, is that Kondrak and Hauer suggested the Voynich manuscript is written using not only a substitution cipher, but that it was also written in anagrams, having the letters within each word jumbled up too. Whilst this has been suggested before, 
It is certainly not a proven fact, just a theory. Kondrak and Hauer used Google Translate, which has a reputation for forcing nonsensical words and phrases into coherent fluent sentences. Despite all the indicators that their work should be and would be disregarded, Kondrak and Hauer claimed the first sentence of the Voynich manuscript to be as follows. She made recommendations to the priest, man of the house, and me and people. The sensationalist media headlines stated that the Voynich manuscript had been deciphered and translated. And while we may have been drawn closer, the flawed methodology of Kondrak and Hauer's work means the translation holds little weight. Maybe future artificial intelligence can solve this mystery, but for now, we still don't know. The mysterious plants, codes and astronomical signs that feature in the book. Perhaps even more puzzling than the mysterious Voynich language appears to be written in are the bizarre illustrations, doodles and diagrams that accompany the unknown writing. Images included in the manuscript depict strange plants, astrological diagrams, castles, dragons and perhaps the most puzzling image, an unclothed woman in what appears to be a bath. While some outlandish theories suggest ancient water park designs, others suggest medicinal information or even alien technology. One theory posed by Dr Cheshire, a linguist at Bristol University, suggested it was a manual covering relationships and parenting written in a code based off of a proto-romantic language. Dr. Cheshire believes it aligns with the Catholic and Roman pagan beliefs held by many Mediterranean Europeans in the 15th century. Dr. Cheshire states that he believed the Voynich manuscript was written by Dominican nuns. Bristol University commented, following media coverage, concerns have been raised about the validity of this research, and went on to ensure it is known that Dr. Cheshire's work is not affiliated with the university. However, perhaps the most common guess is that the Voynich manuscript details medical information. Medicine in the early modern and medieval periods contained lots of myths. Herbal remedies were common, explaining the plant diagrams, and many believed there was a correlation between the position of the stars and individuals' health, hence zodiac images being included. Furthermore, a bath was thought to cure many illnesses, explaining the image of the unclothed woman bathing. This suggests that health and medicine is a common factor between a fair few of the illustrations in the Voynich manuscript. The medicinal theory has been suggested by many, one of whom is historian Nicholas Gibbs in 2017. He offered the suggestion that the images centred health for the reasons just mentioned but also that the manuscript was a pseudoscientific women's health manual. He, like many others, claimed to have solved the code, and believed the absurdly complex codes were Latin abbreviations, and that the Voynich manuscript was written in common shorthand that would have been understood in the 15th century, and was not code that needed to be broken. His work was heavily criticised and ultimately discredited because Nicholas Gibbs either reiterated ideas people before him had suggested and his own theories, the translated sentences, made little to no grammatical sense in Latin. The dismissal of Nicholas Gibbs's research ultimately means the contents of the Voynich manuscript remain a mystery. But the bizarre images seem to have an underlying theme. The Voynich manuscript appears to be split into seven distinct sections. Botanical, containing imagery of herbs and plants. Astronomical, with pictures such as the sun, moon and stars. Cosmological, illustrated with circular geometric designs. The zodiac section, containing drawings of the zodiac signs. Biological, which has depictions of unclothed women in various baths. Pharmaceutical, with images of containers and herbs side by side. And finally, the recipe section, which contains no illustrations, merely lines of text with stars in the margin. These theories are simply based upon where certain images lie within the text. As of today, the manuscript remains a mystery. The more time that passes, the more speculation and rumours continue to grow, and every few years we can be sure someone new will step forward, announcing that they have found a new translation. But with so many experts eager to add to the research, such claims are often quickly refuted. Great minds are puzzled by the nature of the Voynich manuscript. 
The Cold War saw the involvement of the FBI, fearing it was a coded form of communist propaganda, and still no solution or understanding was found. Will we ever figure out this impossible code? Arguably the world's most mysterious book, allegedly figured out over and over, and still nobody can read it. Linguists, historians and cryptographers have puzzled over it for centuries and will continue to do so until we solve this mystery. What lies within the Voynich Manuscript? But what do you make of the mysterious Voynich Manuscript? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.